Do you feel like when a message pops up in your chat and when you see it, it's already too late? Because when you see it and you react to it, you answer the questions or whatever the viewers are typing, they already left. No problem. Here's the quick fix. It's simple. Yo, what's up, gamer boys? It's your time to get your gamer water. Just kidding. Uh, so welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Simul Streaming. And my name is Oslix, as always. Before we begin, I want to remind you that I also stream on Twitch. Link right here, down here, yes. Drop me a follow if you like to chill and see me play games, talk with me, chat, chill, hang out, whatever, whatever. Let's go to the video. So, hey. Have you heard of low latency mode? This is what we're gonna talk about. All right, guys. So this time my face cam is a little bit bigger. Yeah, congratulations. So here we are again at the Twitch homepage and let's jump into the video, how to enable it. So there's a thing called low latency mode, if you don't know, which allows you to interact with your viewer in real time, almost real time. So I'm gonna show you what it does, how to get it, right here. Let's click on your profile. Scroll down onto settings. And under settings, you click on channel and videos. Channel and videos. Yeah, do that. Do that right now. Oh, my face cam is in the way. Good, because I don't want to show you anything else. But this is down here. All right, on top, here, this one here. Low latency mode. Low latency mode, you see I already have it enabled. So low latency mode is best for near real-time interaction with viewer. That means if a viewer is typing a message in your chat, it will most likely within, I don't know, maybe one second, three seconds, pop out right away when they type it. As a streamer, you should always keep an eye out on for your chat. So just, Every 10 seconds, take a look to the chat, like this, for example, and to see if someone is typing something to you and want to chat with you. If you don't respond in real time or within a couple of minutes, seconds, the viewers will probably be gone by then when you see the message. Because most people don't have patience and they want to chat with you if you see you not even interacting with them. Why should I watch your stream, right? So the normal latency mode is enable these settings if you do not interact with viewers in real time. So most big streamers, they use this one because normal latency mode is uh, better for the mods to like see the messages before they come on stream so they can filter it out any bad words, any harassment, toxicity. By the way, if you want to get a good luck have fun badge, which is a free badge that's showing that you are against toxicity and you want to support the gaming community just have fun without any bullying harassment and bad words stuff like that you can get it i just made a video about it so you can check it out it's just before this video so check it out low latency mode is a feature that allows the broadcaster to reduce the delay between their broadcast and their viewers this feature allows broadcasters to respond more quickly to their chat and fosters closer interactions between broadcasters and their community. In March 2019, low latency mode changed from an opt-in to an opt-out model after overwhelmingly positive feedback from the community. Low latency mode is now enabled on most channels by default but you can still choose to turn it off if you encounter issues or interactivity is not a focus of your channel. That's it. <laughs> I just found this um, text-to-speech because I really hate it. I really hate reading. So that should explain what this low latency mode is for you, guys. The low latency mode is currently supported on desktop Chrome, Firefox, and Twitch desktop app. There also supports for low latency mode on Android Twitch mobile app, Android TV, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. So that is low latency mode, guys. So go out there, enable it if you want, and 
Go and interact with your viewers in real time and build a connection with them. Make some friends. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.